Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your old nerd of the day. And I try things so you don't have to. I am over here at 7-Eleven. Of course, I'm over here at my favorite one, 5101 Northeast 112th Avenue here in Vancouver, Washington, to try one of their brand new fall products. Actually, it's three that I'm trying today. They have three different variety of fall-related, fall-themed cookies. Everybody and their mother right now is starting to roll out their fall line of stuff. Apple spice and pumpkin spice and pumpkin this and fall down and hurt your grandma's butt. Using my handy dandy steering wheel tray here, if you want one of those, link is down below in the description. All right, the first one out of the bag is the apple pie sandwich cookies with cream filling. Second one I'm going to try is a hot chocolate sandwich cookie with cream filling. And the last one is a maple sandwich cookie with cream filling. There are four servings per container in these things and a serving is two cookies. So doing the math, eight cookies in here. Woo! Just opening up the end of this, I get a very pungent apple smell coming out of it. And that is what an apple pie one looks like. It's kind of hard to twist this thing off. I thought I'd twist off like an Oreo, but it's being difficult. So I'm going to leave it as is. I don't want to break it. Yes, it's got a very distinctive apple pie smell. It smells like it's fresh out of the oven after you've let it cool for a little bit. That kind of smell. Let's give it a shot. Do it again. There's a look at the cream filling for you. Hit the nail on the head with these. These taste like apple pie, like the apple part of the pie. It'd be nice if the cookie part tasted a little more like a crust. Um, I don't know how you'd be able to capture that. I've, I've seen products that have captured it really good, so I'm sure it's possible. But the filling inside, um, and like I said, I'm not I'm a little vague on the cookie part, but the filling is a definite apple pie flavor. Next, we're gonna try the hot chocolate. There's the hot chocolate cookie. Same coloring, uh, same look as the apple pie, but just a darker filling. It smells chocolate. Not sure if it smells hot chocolate. Hard to tell. Let's give it a shot. Let's look at the cream filling inside that one. Let's do it again. Mm hmm. All over the place. Good thing I had my handy dandy steering wheel tray. Cookies the same. Uh, the filling, initially when I tasted it, it just tasted like a chocolate. Then when I got into a little bit more, a little bit of aftertaste to it, um, it does have a creamy chocolate, uh, hot chocolate type of flavor. Marshmallows? Hmm. Not sure. I think it's just because those two things kind of go together. But a creamy hot chocolate flavor after you get into it. Last one we'll do is the maple. Now this one is a little different. We've got a chocolate cookie on one side and a regular vanilla cookie on the other side. And then the cream inside is looks like a mapley colored cream. And it does smell like maple. Uh, not necessarily a pleasant maple. It, it smells like a manufactured maple, whereas the other two cookies smelled exactly like the food product they're supposed to represent. But this kind of smells manufactured. And I'm hoping, I was hoping that I would like this one the best out of all three, but I guess we'll see. So let's give it a shot. So look at the maple cream filling for you. Let's do it again. Hmm. You've got three flavors going on. You've got a vanilla cookie, you've got a chocolate cookie, and you've got the maple cream filling. Not sure, not sure that I like the combination. I don't really like that maple. It's it's a beaker's 
laboratory type of maple flavor. It's not a nice, smooth, pancake, waffle, French toast, maple syrup flavor the way I would have liked it to be. It's kind of a pungent maple, uh, uh, like a, a punch in your face type maple flavor or flavor period. It's like it, they, they just want to get it across that this is exactly what it is. And it may be just a little bit too much of an effort to do that. Okay, so we had the apple pie, we had the hot chocolate, and finally the maple flavor. You can get any of these over at 7-Eleven for either 99 cents a piece or two for $1.50, so pick your poison. On the Nerdometer, okay, first of all, cookies are pretty much cookies. It's hard to be very demonstrative with a cookie and just put it over the top of everybody else's. Um, the apple pie from 7-Eleven, uh, the apple pie sandwich cookies, I think I would give this a high I like it. It tastes how it's supposed to. It tastes like a nice apple pie, maybe a little bit of cinnamon in there. I could be imagining that because that's, I love Dutch apple pie. Um, but it tastes spot on as far as an apple pie and it's good. Next we have the hot chocolate. Uh, the hot chocolate on the Nerdometer, I would give, I think I would give this a middle of the road, I like it. Um, it's good, it tastes how it's supposed to. I'm not a big chocolate fan, so that's probably me. I mean, this could be a high, I like it depending on who you ask, but I'm gonna give it a middle of the road, I like it. And finally, what should have been my favorite, the maple sandwich cookies. I would give the maple sandwich cookies a low meh. They're not an edible by any stretch, so it's not an it sucks, but a low meh. Just not thrilled with them. And, and you know, my expectations were high for that particular variety, but it's just, it just tastes too much like it's it's a fakey maple and not a real maple. The hot chocolate, the apple pie, they hit the nail on the head. This one tastes manufactured to me. Um, and, and I don't know if it was a real good idea to put a chocolate cookie and a vanilla cookie along with that. I think that may be too much of a mixture. If you're gonna get one out of the three, I would suggest the apple pie. The apple pie is good. Um, if you like apple pie, then if you don't like apple pie, do the hot chocolate. Go ahead and pass on the maple. Or give it a try, because of course I always wanna hear what you guys think. If you've tried any of the three, or all three of these flavors of seven select sandwich cookies for the fall lineup, Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you tried. Let me know what you thought. There you go, gang, another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. You guys have a freaking awesome day. And I'll talk to you again. Bye now.